Researchers at the University of Pittsburgh and the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center say their potential coronavirus vaccine will soon enter the first phase of FDA human clinical trial. The vaccine called Pit Covac will deliver antibodies through the skin on a patch the size of a fingertip. That will create proteins to build immunity to the disease. While the patch looks like a Band-Aid, it has 400 small needles. It'll work just like the flu shot by using lab-made pieces of protein to build immunity. More than 2,000 ventilators in the federal stockpile cannot be sent out because they were not properly maintained in storage. That's according to a New York Times report. President Donald Trump said Tuesday the government is withholding 10,000 ventilators due to an anticipated surge in COVID-19 cases. However, the Times reports that 2,000 additional units are out of commission due to a maintenance lapse resulting from a contracting dispute with the Trump administration. California Governor Gavin Newsom has also said his state received 170 broken ventilators from the federal government. A Michigan nurse breaking her silence tonight on what it's really like working the front lines of the coronavirus pandemic. She shared the stress, anxiety and heartbreak of the job and explained how hard it is to see patients dying without family members at their side and only medical professionals. It's heartbreaking as a nurse to know that you are that person's everything. And sometimes in their last moments, the weight of trying to fill the shoes of the people who can't be there is really heavy. She went on to say that medical professionals are going out of their way to get creative and find ways to let families connect with their loved ones who are inside the hospital. Pharmacies across the U.S. are facing a potential drug shortage as they see an influx of customers coming in for help due to the coronavirus. Raven Brown visited one New York pharmacy where the pharmacists are doing everything they can to keep up with demand. Pharmacies are feeling the impact of the coronavirus. I've been in pharmacy for over 15 years and have never seen anything like it. At Erotiquoit Pharmacy, pharmacist and owner Dave Seelman says they're seeing more business than usual. We've definitely seen a big run on people trying to refill their prescriptions early. They just want to make sure that they're going to have enough uh, in the event that additional restrictions get put in place and they can't leave their home. He says there's been a volume of phone calls and a rush on respiratory medications like asthma inhalers and albuterol. They also have put in new precautionary measures to try to stop the spread. So we're definitely trying to, uh, to minimize exposure as much as possible. Um, we're really trying to have only one person come in. With pharmacists being on the front lines of this crisis, Seelman says people should only be getting the medications they need, but says it's their job to make sure they're taken care of no matter what. Doctors, pharmacists, nurses, all healthcare workers, I think we, we sort of see it as our duty to be here and, and be accessible even during these uncertain times. Another big tip for people in need of prescription drugs is to call ahead before waiting in line at the pharmacy. This way you can check if your prescription is available while still social distancing.